What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. We're dealing with McKellar San Diego, guys. It's going to be Burst. This is a West Coast style IPA. Uh, water, barley, malt, hops, and yeast. My dog won't be quiet. He finally laid down. Uh, typical stuff from uh, McKellar, guys. Uh, this is coming in around $3.59 per can, or maybe like $12 or so for a four pack. So, pretty good pricing. Uh, this was canned on sometime in May, it looks like, guys. So, it's not super duper fresh by any means. Quiet next, we're reviewing. Uh, it's August 10th, time of recording, guys. So, May, June, July. August, ah, you're looking at about three months out. I can't really tell what the other day is. Maybe it's the 28th, maybe it's a little bit fresher than that. Uh, I've had a good few McKellar uh, beers, but I don't get them often, guys. So here we are dealing with more McKellar San Diego. Why don't we dive into this bad boy? Coming in at 5.9% ABV. I like West Coast beers, guys. I tend to like them more and more as time goes on. I kind of shy away from the hazies. Those are good once in a while, but I find that drinkability is much easier with normal pale ales, IPAs, and uh, West Coast beers. So let's try this one out. We've got a golden, not even golden, I don't know, like a very darkish, yeah, dark golden yellow, a little bit of haze to her and a little bit of chill haze. Um, definitely not see-through 100%, but you got a little white head that's kind of sitting on top of this golden pineapple-y looking beer, guys. A little bit more like sunset orange and amberish to you guys, but I don't really get that as much, but on camera it looks quite a lot darker. Um, yeah, moderate to small carbonation streaming to the top, guys. Let's go to an aroma. She smells dank, boy. That smells like dankies right there. Um, yeah, we're getting some like uh, citrus notes, generic citrus, AKA lemon, tangerine, grapefruit, and a lot of dankness. I mean like Waldo's dankness coming off the top, guys. It's, it's piney dankness. And it is what it is. I'm just gonna put it there. It smells kind of crisp, but still quite hoppy. Let's dive in, guys. It's the burst from McKellar San Diego. Cheers. Ooh, super piney. There's the dankness. Dankness follows the aroma to the taste. Super dank, man. Um, actually quite juicy in the middle and in and, and the front end, but again, big lemon, lemon juiciness, lemon zest, um, grapefruit pith and bitterness, uh, followed by more dankness and piney bitterness on the back end, guys. Solid West Coast beer, kind of what you expect with a little extra oomph of dank. Yeah, that's it's what it is on the first couple sips here. Yeah. Oh, okay. A little bit more juiciness, like almost like it's almost got like tangerine marmalade on the front with a little bit of like bubble gum. Um, but I get a lot of lemon, grapefruit, and tangerine. Like, I think those are the most predominant things in this. And they're like a nice mixture of juicy and bubblegummy, bright. And then there's also like pith, skin, um, and bitterness kind of coupled with the fruits there. Uh, and I think you get some bitterness from the grapefruit itself. Almost like a sour tangerine coming on the front. And then, you're, again, bright citrus, then uh, dank, piney bitterness on the back end, guys, to kind of round it all together, calling it a West Coast beer. It's kind of what it is, and it follows suit. Because of how hoppy and dank and, and uh, pushy it is on the palate, it almost comes across like it's going to be like a 7 to 8% beer, but it still drinks quite quite crisp and crushable because it is right under that 6% threshold. But again, drinks much bigger than it is based on the hoppiness, bitterness, and dankness, guys, thicker body. Um, but it checks all the boxes for being West Coast beer. Um, that's what you're looking for. I mean, again, it's it's all the all the things you want in a West Coast beer with extra dankness, almost that Lagunitas Waldo's dankness, maybe a tier below that. That's always where the bar is for dankness, I feel like, from old school beers. Um, that one is here, and it's kind of giving me those same vibes. Um, with more crisp drinkability, less malt bill. Um, again, more crispy boys here. Uh, this is good from McKellar, guys. It's very good West Coast beer. 
maybe even a slight dry peach under there. Uh, it's tasty. It's tasty, guys. Um, if you like West Coast beer, you're going to like this one. If you like IPAs, you're going to like this one. If you like hazy, this ain't for you, man. You better go the other direction. Uh, but for me, rating in just West Coast IPA terms, even though it's still lower ABV compared to some of the other IPAs, four out of five. It, it's it's good. It's like a crispy boy. I uh, got big drinkability, but big hoppy slapping you around, dankness slapping you around, um, but still crisp, refreshing, and still delivers that uh, IPA and scratches that uh, IPA itch for you guys. It is what it is. Four out of five for me, guys. It's been Burst from a Keller San Diego. Thanks for being here. I'm Dan. Catch you on the next review, guys. Cheers.